champion, but you don't fight nobody. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't understand what I'm saying, that's what Canelo said to me. I'm a champion, but I don't fight nobody. He's a champion, and now look what he's showing. He's fighting nobody. He's going up to Cruiserweight to fight somebody we don't know. When this real fight is in the division, in the middleweight division, he could be fighting. Message for Canelo. Fight nobody. <laughs> No, you're going, get that in. I said, payday, payday. If I nobody, you champion, if I know. Well, I'm pretty sure <clears throat> my decision is made already. You know, uh, Bob couldn't secure me the Spence fight when I was with him. So how you going to secure me the Spence fight when I'm not with him? So, you know, uh, I'm moving forward with my career right now. And I wish everybody the best. There you go, Bud Crawford leaving top rank. Does Bud Crawford's victory over Sean Porter make him number one pound for pound? No, it doesn't, because Sean Porter is a good fighter. Sean Porter is not a champion. In the last year, Canelo fought three champions and one mandatory in 12 months. And those champions were unbeaten. That trumps a victory over Sean Porter who's been in there with the best at 147, but has three losses. But that being said, I'm not here to shit all over Terrence Crawford like some Canelo fans do. I got Canelo the best in the world, top pound for pound fighter, numero uno. But I'm not gonna rain on Bud Crawford's parade. The fight went like I thought it would. Porter's a tough fighter, one of the best at 147. I thought it'd be a close fight going into the eighth round. I thought Bud would stop him in the ninth round. Shout out to Nick Harmer and Dave Martinez who had Bud taking him out in the 10th round. And after the fight, you hear ridiculous comments like, oh, Spence will eat Crawford up. But did y'all forget what Porter did against Spence? Some people thought Porter beat Spence. Crawford just stopped Porter. And you can say, well, his dad stopped him. Porter was not gonna make it out the 10th round. The same thing about the plant fight. They said Plant was ahead, the fix was in, Canelo stopped him, but Canelo was ahead in that fight anyway. Now the Crawford and Porter fight is fixed. And this goes on in the YTBC. When fights don't go the way that people want them to, they call it a fix, unless they fanboying for some fighter. But they call it a fix if it doesn't go their way. Why keep watching a sport if you think it's fixed? It doesn't make any sense. If you think the Bud Crawford-Porter fight was fixed, why wouldn't you think the fighter you fanboying for, his fights are not fixed? Sounds like a double standard to me. This is what the problem is with boxing today. That Demetrius Andre is having a problem with Canelo moving up the cruiserweight, as he call it, fighting a nobody. But this guy's a WBC cruiserweight champion. You're fighting Jason Quigley. I would take Canelo's nobody over Andre's nobody. Andre also says there's plenty of middleweights and super middleweights that Canelo could fight. But I also can say the same thing with him. There's plenty of middleweights and super middleweights he could fight. He could go up to 168 and challenge Benavidez. The winner of that earns a shot at Canelo. That's what the problem with these fighters today. They're worrying about what Canelo does instead of trying to position themselves or earn a title shot with Canelo. I guarantee if Andre goes to beat Charlo for unification or he goes up there and beat Benavides, he would definitely be on the radar. Let's look at Andre's last three opponents. Was it Keeler, Liam Williams, then he beat up on a Quigley. You fight with nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you are a champion, but are you? What? Wait, wait, you avoided that. Hey, you <laughs> fight with nobody, man. man. Not good enough, buddy. I tell you what. You beat Charlo, that would definitely put you on the radar. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.